I think that's a great thing to do to honor the person you said you love, to honor the woman who gave you a scar on your wrist for the rest of your life, that you can always look at and remember that you know what I'm saying. 50 Cent allegedly just leaked explicit photos of Kim Porter being beaten by Diddy. This isn't even shocking considering what everyone has said about how Diddy treated her. However, Jean Deal believes the TR is different puffy. He came out with a new album man called Love, and he has a song called Kim Porter, How You Feel About That. Kim was who Kim was, and then if he ever tried to forget her, all he had to do is look at his wrist. What you mean by that when you say that you know Kim Porter gave Puffy your scar? When they, uh, when they were at home at Kim's house on 110th Street, he wanted to, you know, put his hands on her in the wrong way, and Kim took one of those court screws and ripped his wrist up and hit an artery. And when she did that, he had to rush over to Stee Luke's hospital. I met him over there to the hospital. It was me, him and Kim in the hospital when he was bleeding like crazy. And that's that was the beginning of him. And that's the first thing I knew about people getting hooked on. You know what I'm saying. And that was from that accident. Oh, that was from the incident with him and Ken when she wasn't taking that. She wasn't going to take that wing and she got him off of him the best way she could right right from your point of view. Right, how would you describe Puffy and Kay Porter relationship? when he was around. Oh, it was volatile. It, it was like, you know, damage, she do damage. She don't like Kim could not be with nobody else. And he knew it and he could do whatever he want to. You know what I'm saying? And um, even when he was with Glow, like well put Glow in the house and he'll call and Kim wouldn't answer. And if she was out, he would ask the babysitter, you know, do you know where she at well? She said she was going to be here because she had christened at the time you know what I mean. So now we going where Kim is. At and if she was with somebody he made it very uncomfortable for that person to be with using the bodyguards what you mean by that. Like if we was there you know you not going to be sitting up there you know. And he pushing up on Kim you not going to do nothing to him while we there or you not. Going to say nothing to him while we there do would just either step out, or step away, or Kim would just get in another car and go, or whatever, right? But from the outside looking in, right from my point of vice, you it does look like he, you know, is living with a regret when he come to it. My man could have, would have, should all that look good for the media, it turns out that life with Diddy was actually very, very bleak. For Kim Porter, Kim Porter. We all know about the time that she cut Diddy with a court screw. Do you recall any other time that her and Diddy got into it? Well, I could hear it in the suite in the hotel suite. And then sometimes when I went, when he, when Kim lived on 70th something street, and I would, D go upstairs with Diddy. You could hear the in the hallway. And I would just shake my head when he come out or whatever. And Kim will be in the house and it's always about where she was at or who she was dealing with. You know what I mean, so, oh, I'm not gonna see you physically put your hands on. Nobody. I don't give a who you are, or I'm not going to see you physically put your hands on her. You understand I'm not going, that's not going, got, going to be me. You know, first of all, I can't the position I was. In you understand investigator for top investigations dealing with child abuse state parole officer for New York. I'm required to do something. You understand. If she says his bodyguard was right there. But I'm still moonlight. You know that I'm moonlight as his bodyguard and I work at his bodyguard. But I also have another responsibility as a state officer. So, you could hear Diddy putting hands on Kim Porter. What would you do? As I told you, he always does that. He starts off with something on his mind and likes to play fight with him. You understand. And he'll be hurting them until they get to the point where they say, you stop, stop. But you know that the room is locked, so you don't hear any of that. And then you know Kim would walk out in her white row. And you can see it in our face. So what are you going to do? I always wanted to ask you this, man. 
Do you know anything about these after parties that DD be having? Which after parties there's a lot of after parties? There's a lot of after parties for a lot of different reasons. There's after parties if we doing it at the hotel after we do a party. Or there's after parties after the after party, you understand, right? I guess the, um, the one people talk about is the after after party. Well, those will be when him and somebody that he needs something from or want something. Hang from and he'll get those girls and he'll line them up with him now. There has been a lot of speculation on Kim Porter's death a couple couple of years back. There was a lot of speculation swirling around the untimely passing of Kim Porter, especially from the father of her eldest child. So let's rewind to November 2018 when Kim, just 47 at the time, tragically passed away at her home. The official report cited low bar pneumonia as the cause stamped with a natural label by the coroner, surprisingly to here were no red flags in her medical history except for some recent flu-like symptoms before her relationship with Sean Diddy Combs Kim's legacy in the music industry was cemented when she gave birth to a son with record producer, a L.B. Shore, also known as Albert Joseph Brown I. However, A. L. B. Shore has been open about his doubts about the cause of Kim's death. He has even gone so far as to imply that Kim may have been fleeing something in the time leading up to her death, and even urged her to contact the FBI for help. Jaguar Wright has verified his allegations and claimed that Diddy might have been Kim Porter's killer. Kim passed away from pneumonia, but the initial coroner's report stated that she was killed. They discovered toxins in her body, indicating that she had been poisoned. You know, they have poisons that cause heart attacks and symptoms similar to pneumonia. Shortly after that, Al had a meeting, and I was going to meet him because we were in Vegas. Then, you wonder what they all had in common the survivors and the late Uptown Records, who were all writing autobiographies. Before he passed away, Andre was finishing a book, and Heavy D was working on a book as well. Albie was undoubtedly working on his life documentary when he enters a coma, while Kim Porter was working on a book before she passed away. Does the puppy have any medical history? He must be the luckiest mother ever, as everyone who worked seemed to have succeeded. However, hear the story for yourself. There has been a long-running rumor that Diddy killed his partner because she exposed a lot of information in her book. Is there any truth to it? Or could they conceal some information because she completed her book on Google Duel, which is located in the clouds and could be removed by someone? She doesn't have a book. It's merely a conspiracy. Kim, it was alleged that she did have a book, and that her book was about to come out and she was talking about all the perils, everything that she went through in the music business, and with Diddy all the men that they slept with together. They were men that they slept with together this, there are swinging times that they slept with together. I don't know, man, how do you put your girl through some like that? Or how you look at your girl and knowing that she'ing another dude just what where you're... What kind of demonic mind you have to have to be that far G where that don't bother you for somebody that you love, but Kim Book was going to express all that. And I hope she did her book on Google Docs or she did a book somewhere that is floating in the cloud of the internet that somebody could go get it one day. But I'm sure I'm sure that he probably got hold to those tablets, or whatever she had allegedly, and got rid of them, they swimming with the fish's wow man so she was about to expose all that. Tinner book them sleeping with men together, she was going to expose everything I heard it was tell all, yeah. That's crazy man, just curious, right? Did you know that Diddy and Kim had that type of relationship back then, in real time? Yeah? Yeah. Ye, cause I know somebody personally that lives in Atlanta. That was swinging with them, and I would never mention his name. Cuz. He's a good brother and he knows my family down there. You know he knows my family down there. And uh, I would never you know. Put his name up. But they're like that, you know he's been in the music business, he didn't put a lot lot of groups. 
Uh, I mean, a listed groups out there, especially a listed groups from Atlanta, so I would never put his name out there like that. Um, you know, when you know I, I got the key, I got the pass key to everything, but then when you know they needed more ice or they needed bottles and stuff like that, when I used to go to the door and I knock on the door and then I open the door and then you know my nose how you see certain or sitting at they sitting in the jacuzzi together, all of them, how Diddy treated Kim sounds dangerously close to what one of his other exes, Gina H, had a rough night before I met him. So we spent the whole night together. She and I were with a few guys, and they said, let's go to Puffy's house. I was like, okay, whatever. And we went to his house at around 900 in the morning.